Yes, hi, Tech. Hi. Hi. Um, as I'm sitting here, it's almost like I have a, a panic attack or something. Like my heart is like beating so much. Like, and um, yes, and, and before came like different images. I have, and I have no idea what what this is about. It's just really, really physically strong right now. Yeah. It's like heat and. Yeah. Is there an emotion in it? Yeah, it's 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 like fear, it's like panic, like uh -huh. is there some part of you, Ladina, that can watch it or is it full on? It's it's one part can watch it. Yes. Yes. Well done. Okay, I'm gonna watch it with you. Because you're one part and my one part, that's the same viewpoint. That's the same. That's holding it. That is allowing the experience of it to show up. Okay. There's one part that really wants to kind of suppress it and not, you know, really scared of just letting the body... Oh, it let it come it's welcome yeah. it's welcome <sighs> let it be here oh, yeah. yeah and if your body needs to get bigger or move then honor that too mm -hmm. Oh, totally fine to let it express. Totally fine. It wants to be here. It's welcome. It's really like, um, like some deep shame or deep something comes, comes up. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and, and the part, uh, I can see it. It's uh, now I'm, I'm with you. It's more love also for this for this happening yeah yes yes mm -hmm. and shame is welcome fear is welcome Panicky anxiety as well. Okay, the more movement it can feel, the better. Starting to move now. I'm going to speak a little bit for, for kind of everybody else. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, if, if when we look at these energies that we recognize as emotions yes. and uh, um, they're kind of on a hierarchy in terms of motion. Like ones that move a lot, sadness, release, expression, anger, we release them and we let them go. They're kind of at the top of the ladder. They're easier. Then as we kind of go down, we've got <gasps> fight, flight, fear, guilt is another one that kind of freezes us. Shame. It's another one that 
is get stuck and, and being frozen is down at the bottom, just feeling paralyzed. And we all learn these at some point in our lives, usually in our childhood. The emotions that don't move, like emotion, the word is a giveaway. They work well when they're moving. The ones that we have a, a solid cover over, these are the ones that have no motion. And when we go into spaciousness ourselves and we open up on the inside, it's almost like there's too much space. And, and that which was frozen, the cover gets weaker because the spaciousness is inviting a, an irresistible platform for it to show up. It had... It, it, it isn't connected. The frozen ones often are not connected to a story at all because they happen oof, in other dimensions, in other lifetimes, before we have conceptual stuff in usual developmental moments when we don't have a, you know, our brains aren't active and able to put reasons and cause and effect pictures onto it. So we have this emotion with no story. I like these emotions with no stories. When there's no movement in them, they'll come up when we're sitting in nothingness or embodied stillness, whichever angle you went for today. There's a space there for them. They'll show up sooner or later. They will, they have to, because they're always linked in with the death of the personal I. They're always linked in to, I'm going to be annihilated here. The I will be annihilated. And so it will trigger a memory from somewhere. Mass consciousness, even if it isn't your own. Like, we'll go anywhere. This is kind of how interconnected we are. We'll go anywhere for the experience of, I'm going to be annihilated. And the paralysis, the feeling, the incredible fear that comes with that, that's the only thing we know. But really, the story is about I'm going to be annihilated here. The fight for survival, it defies logic and reasoning. It's primitive. It's part of being an animal. And so at some point, this fight for survival has to be addressed by the personal I, because the personal I, well, it's kind of dying out. And some, at some point, that, that animal part of us that senses annihilation, my existence is really threatened here. And it's not just existence in this lifetime. It's the existence of, of separation, which can really have spent a very, very long time in many dimensions. And so look at what we are opening. Look at what we're giving space for. What do we do? We give it space. We give it so much allowance so that it can begin to move. It needs to move through your body. And as Ladina was talking, fear, oh, it's gone into shame. Yes, I was thrilled when it showed another face. Anxiety, panic in the body, fear, and then shame. It's like, okay, now it's moving. Now it's moving up from paralysis and locked in to shame. It might go to guilt. It might go to, to anger. It might drop back down again to being annihilated. It might go into shame again. It might go into sadness. It might go into hopelessness. You see, so, so the, what we're looking for is motion. We're looking for release. We're looking for expression, giving it the space, allowing it to be here, allowing it to lift. And of course, you know, the awakened state allows every emotion to pass through. There's no stickiness. There's no pattern of locking it in. You're open like that tube that we spoke about of glass or no tube at all. That alignment with emptiness that we spoke about last week at the gathering. Like 
anything can pass through. There's no sticking place. There's no preservation that wants to, oh, I know this, I need to survive. All of these ideas die with the separate eye. You see? So there's a, a little bit of context around what's going on for Ladina and, and other aspects that can happen that mightn't be happening to her right now. How are you doing, Ladina? <laughs> oh, it's just, oh, it's just very um, uncomfortable, but um, now just giving permission, giving permission. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just moving. It's like it's really moving. Yeah. Beautiful. And it's like really quickly, many, many beliefs come up, like different beliefs, like, yeah. 